Hello everyone. Today we create a script that allows us to visualize rooms in 3D using mass. The script would take all rooms in the project and create a mass element matching the size of each room, including the height and shape. We would also rename each mass to match the room name, number and department. After that, we would override the color of each mass based on what department the room belongs to. This workflow could assist if you are in the early development stage and want to quickly visualize your current layouts and play with room shapes and areas. For this script, we will use two extra packages, Spring Notes and Genius Loki. Let's get started. First, we need to get all rooms in the current project. Create a code block and type rooms. Don't forget to put it between double quotes. Then search for category dot by name node. Connect code block and get all elements of category node. Connect it as well. Create a group and name it one dot get all rooms in the project. Now we need to remove unplaced rooms. Search for room dot location node and connect elements to room input. Then search for object dot is no node and connect point to object input. That way we can find if we have unplaced rooms in the project. Get filter dot by bool mask node, connect bool to mask input and elements from group one to list input. Create a group and name it two dot remove unplaced rooms. Now search for element dot geometry node and connect out to element input. Also get list dot flatten node and connect it. This would give us geometry of each room, including its shape and height. Create a group and name it three dot get rooms geometry. Now let's build the names for future mass elements. Get room dot name and room dot number nodes. Connect out output from group two to room inputs. Then get element dot get parameter value by name node and connect out output to element input. Create a code block and type department. This would allow us to get each room name, number and department values. Let's combine it. Create a code block and type a plus double quotes dash plus b plus double quotes dash plus c. Connect room number to a, room name to b and department value to c. Create a group and name it generate elements names. Now search for family instance dot by geometry node from spring nodes package. Connect list from group 3 to geometry input and code block from group 4 to family name input. Get a file path node and connect to family template path input. Leave it as it is for now. Create a code block and type mass, then get a category dot by name node. Connect code block to name input, then category to category input. Create a group and name it 5 dot generate family instances. Now let's return to family template path input. Since we would use mass category to create our 3D blocks, we need to specify the file path to metric mass template file. To find that template, you would need to go to default family library that was installed with Revit. Click browse and specify that template file. I currently just copy that metric mass template file to my folder. Now let's give each mass a color by department. Get list.group by keynote connect instance from group 5 to list input and var from group 4 to keys input. Create a group and name it 6. Group geometry by department names. Copy the node, but now connect var output to both list and keys inputs. Create a group and name it 7. Group departments by department names. Now get view get color fill scheme node from genius Loki package. Also get views node and connect it to view inputs. Select a view that has a department color scheme used. In my case, it's a floor plan level zero. Create a code block and type rooms, then get category dot by name node, connect them, then connect category to category input. Create a group and name it 8. Dot get color scheme from specified view. Search for get color fill scheme properties node from Genius Loki package. Connect color fill scheme from group 8 to color fill scheme input. 
Also search for list.indexofNode and connect groups from group 7 to element input, then connect values to list input. Now get list.getItem at index node, connect list to index input and covers to list input. What we did now is we grouped each room by its department and linked it to a specific cover. Create a group and name it 9.generateCovers from specified cover scheme. Create a code block and type smaller sign, solid fill, bigger sign, then on the next row type drafting. Don't forget to put each row within double quotes. Search for fill pattern element dot get by name node, connect solid fill to name input and drafting to fill pattern target input. Create a group and name it 10 dot get fill pattern. Now search for override graphic settings dot by properties node, connect fill pattern from group 10 to projection fill pattern and cut fill pattern inputs. Then get item from group 9 and connect it to cut fill cover and projection fill cover inputs. Search for element.override in view node, connect overrides to override input, then get groups from group 6 and connect it to element input. Create a group and name it 11.override elements. Now the script is done, save it and let's test it. For this example, I created a very basic floor plan that only includes rooms and room separation lines. Each room has a number and a department type from 1 to 5. This layout is also copied to 7 other exactly identical levels. Now we need to make sure we go to any 3D view, because this is where color overrides would be done. Open Dino Player, press Run and check how each room geometry would be generated. When it finish, you could see that each geometry has a unique name associated with room number, name and department values. You could see that covers represent departments they are assigned. Also, since it is a mass, you can select it and create mass floors. This would allow you to extract the area information. I hope you like this video and see you next time. Thank you.